What you're seeing is a hard drive, or a hard disk drive. It's an older model, probably less than one gigabyte on here, I don't know the exact size. It uses an IDE interface. This is the actuating arm here. It uses an inductive field here. Probably pulse width modulation to determine the location of the arm. Here's the head which reads and writes onto this platter here. These are very strong magnets. There's a top one, and then there's another one underneath. Uses a ribbon cable here, or a flex cable with conductors in it to control the data read write function and the current running through the arm to determine its location. There are two platters. Each platter's surface, so there are four surfaces, is read and written on by the arm here. I've seen up to four platters on a hard drive. This one just has the two platters. So I'm going to apply power. When these platters get up to speed, it actually causes the arms to lift slightly off the platter. So and there's like an air cushion formed, so the head doesn't scratch the platter at all. The technology has been perfected over the years so that each rail is even more concentrated. The size has not changed. The bladders still remain at this size. The diameter has not changed. The precision of the heads, I assume, has been drastically altered to reduce the size of each data rail. It's an incredible piece of hardware. I really am fascinated by hard drives and the complexity of every aspect of it. I recommend if you have a hard drive kicking around and you know that you're not going to need it again and it still operates somewhat, open it up. It's a really cool machine.